Israel's foes are applying pressure wherever they can, and civilian shipping in the Red Sea has become more collateral damage to the war in Gaza. <laughs> Yemen's Houthi militias captured the galaxy leader and detained its crew in November, and the attacks have escalated since. This week, a Norwegian oil tanker was hit by anti-ship missiles and caught fire. Other commercial ships were shot at, but were undamaged. Houthi military leaders claim they're acting in solidarity with Palestinians. And that all of the targets have some connection to Israel, but that's far from clear. The actions that we've seen from these Houthi forces are destabilizing, they're dangerous, uh, and clearly a, a, a flagrant violation of international law. U.S., French and other naval vessels have shot down many of the drones and missiles, but with the attacks increasing, the United States is calling for a broad coalition to protect shipping. We have every reason to believe that these attacks, while they were launched by the Houthis in Yemen, were fully enabled by Iran. Iran also exerts control over Hezbollah militias to Israel's north in Lebanon. This former Yemeni ambassador to Canada says if Iran decides to expand the conflict, the bigger threat comes from Hezbollah, not the Houthis. The, if the Iranians decide that a war should erupt, should start in that region, it's Hezbollah who can do it, not the, not the Houthis. The Houthis can disrupt, as I said, the maritime traffic, but that's the maximum they can do. Shipping representatives stress the industry is very resilient. It has dealt with issues such as piracy around the Red Sea before, and some shipping companies are opting to sail around Africa instead, hoping that these attacks, while serious, can be contained. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.